I'm gonna go ahead and let you know right now, this is the most random video that I've ever filmed in my entire life. Like completely random. I don't, I don't have any answers. There's not really like one topic. I just kind of rant and ramble and talk about makeup. However, I will say, this is like obviously no filter or anything like that. My makeup turned out real good. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Um, we have lots of, lots of, you can literally see my bathroom. That's disgusting. Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I'm not sick, it just sounds like I am. Um, I'm excited. I feel like I have so many like new things to update you guys on. It's literally been like only a few days since I um, last filmed, but nevertheless, I still have like things to update you guys on. And then also the Sephora sales going on. Don't worry, I did indeed spend four arms and four legs on like all kinds of new stuff. So I'll be doing a huge Sephora haul. I might do like a two part Sephora haul actually of like all the things I got. Um, this is my job, so you know. But anyway, we went in store and I also picked up a few things. I got the new House Labs um, foundation that everyone and their mother has talked about. And then I got this, which I wasn't planning on getting, but I saw it in person and swatched it and I was like, you're coming home with me. So this is the Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Edit unlocked and this is the elephant one they came out with three this year they had a tiger one an elephant and i don't know something else but anyways this is what it looks like it is beautiful so you've got the blushes this is kind of like a bronzer highlighter and this is like a glowy like almost as if a bronzer topper like if that was a thing or if we're making it a thing that's that but let's go ahead and get into it i want to try try some of these things out and get um get it rolling also i have a cute little package from our good friends at Dior. This is the Dior Backstage um, Face and Body Powder, no powder. I've talked about this a thousand times. I always use it as a bronzer, but the shade 6N is rudely, rudely far too light for me right now, or far too dark for me right now. So I picked up the shade 4N. This is what Brielle and I used, well, Brielle used on me um, whenever she did my makeup the other day, which that video is already up. So go watch it if you haven't already. Um, I am going to film a bunch of stuff today, and then I have a football game that I'm going to tonight. So, do I need to look glam? No. Will I? Absolutely. I've just been, like, having, living my best glam life. You know what I mean? Also, the mirror on this is phenomenal. Um, that's not, like, the main reason to buy it, obviously. But nevertheless, it's a really good mirror. And my skin looks pretty good. I'm having some, like, under eye problems, I think, due to lack of hydration. So, I've been trying to drink a ton of water. This is my second one of these, my second or third one of these, I think, today. Oh, where did I get this cup? Starbucks. My boyfriend brought it for me. Can you believe that? He's so nice. Also, that's a big update. I posted a story. We'll, like, do a Q&A and stuff. Don't worry. I know you will have questions. Um, but anyway, we posted a story. I'll post the picture of the story on here so you guys can see. It's adorable. But... That's a whole, that's a whole, like, story time in and of itself, but, like, I am just the happiest girl, like, truly just the happiest girl. By the way, I picked up this up in the shade 250, light, medium, neutral, I think. Yeah, light, medium, neutral. Oh, it's 280, my bad, 280, light, medium, neutral. Um, and I'm gonna see how this matches my skin. I think it'll be okay. My body's still a little bit darker than my face. Oh, actually, I think that will be perfect. Hooray. Um, so anyway, that's kind of what's been going on in my life. If you would have asked me a few months ago, if I would have a boyfriend, I'll be like, absolutely not. You're insane. Um, but here we are. So who would have thought? Not me. That's for sure. Um, also the whole, like, I can give you guys a story on how we met, which I figured I told him, I was like, we need to do a Q and A together because he'll be good. Like he... He'll be good on camera. He just will be. Um, he's good at speaking and like, I don't think he'll be nervous at all, to be honest with you. So that's that. This foundation looks stupidly good. Like offensively good. What the heck? What the heck? I was not expecting that. Also, this shade match is literally perfect on my skin. So... A++ for me, picking that out. Um, anyway, his name is Chase. Let's just get into the tea. His name is Chase. We actually went to high school together, but he was younger than me in high school. And he was actually two grades um, below me. So it's like, you know. And 
he used to bring me bagels every single day to my class and well to homeroom he would come and hang out with us we had the same friend group he was um younger obviously he was two years younger than me in school but um one year younger than me in like by age and he would bring me bagels every single day and come hang out with us in homeroom but like I never thought anything of it because I was like he's just like he's young you know and but he was always really good at sports and so all my friends we were like seniors and he was a sophomore but he would always be hanging around and stuff um but then I started dating my ex-boyfriend slash like fiance and I never thought anything about it and then he got drafted um to the MLB he plays for the Mets he got drafted this year and I was single and I messaged him and like I didn't even message him to be like you know I literally just messaged him to be like nice and be like oh my gosh congratulations love the Mets that's so exciting like I can't believe you know somebody from our hometown has has done this like huge congrats that foundation looks so good you guys look at that like it just looks like silk on my skin I love that so much so I messaged him told him congratulations that was that didn't hear from him he like slid up on my stories I'm gonna have to get a um, uh, makeup eraser hold on okay I'm back <laughs> he slid up on my stories a few times and would like I think two I think two times he slid up on my stories and we just like say you know like oh you look cute or you look good or something like that but again never really thought anything about it because he was in Florida for training for baseball um for the Mets so um fast forward we started talking I still like I what have very much so have always had my guard up especially like after being engaged and you know like just going through all that I've definitely had my guard up and, and been very reserved and like don't really let people in don't really want to let people in like that whole sort of vibe you know and it was the same case for him and I just thought I was like he's an MLB player he's really attractive he's gonna be like he's just not gonna be what I want I was like he's gonna be cocky he's gonna be a jerk he's gonna have like a lot of girls a lot of girls that he's talking to etc cetera, etc cetera. I was like I don't trust quite literally anybody I don't trust him because I don't even know him anymore like I used to but I don't really know him because we haven't talked uh, I did go watch him play baseball me well I don't want to say that but I wanted to go watch him play baseball whenever he played at the University of Kentucky um he played there and then he got drafted um his junior I guess junior or sophomore year um but anyways so that's that and we just started talking then I was like no like cut it off I just didn't think you know and like also while we were talking he was still in Florida this whole time so I was like we never got to hang out in person so anyway long story short he came back to our hometown I saw him at a football game I didn't um he texted me after the football game and like told me that I looked gorgeous etc cetera, etc cetera. I hadn't talked to him for like a week maybe like two weeks I didn't respond to him I was like sorry but no you know but I kept thinking about it I was like I really want to talk to him like I really want to respond to him like he's so attractive he's outgoing like everyone loves him everyone in this town loves him he's so successful and like you know etc cetera, etc cetera. and I was like I feel like our energies match I think we would just go well together so then I texted him we hung out and then after about a week of hanging out um I was like okay well, wait a minute I'm down bad for him and I never in a million years thought I would be and same for him and then here we are we have spent every every like waking moment together actually let me just show you this picture it's about the cutest things um, you'll ever see. Come on. Here we are. He's adorable. That's that. But it's just, so, it's just so funny because like never in a billion years did I think that we would end up like dating or together or anything like that. And I was fully convinced that I wouldn't have a boyfriend anytime soon. I was like, no, not a chance. Like get out of here with that thought. Um, I'm going to go in with my Dior powder. And... Then, well, that didn't go as planned. And never in a billion years did I ever, ever, ever think that that would be the case. But evidently, evidently it is. And we have been living our best lives. We've been traveling. We've just been hanging out. He's been, he's such a big helper. We work out together every single morning. Um... He leaves back in, or he leaves in March to go back to um, 
Florida for spring training for baseball. And then from there, he goes to Brooklyn. So he'll be in Brooklyn playing five games a week. Um, so I will be going back and forth between Kentucky and Brooklyn, <laughs> which is wild. But anyways, that's that. That's the tea on that. I'm using this Dewar powder. And honestly, it's really light. Like this one's, I feel like not as pigmented as the, uh, as the 4N. Maybe it's just a different undertone or something. Maybe this one just matches my skin better. I don't really know, to be honest with you. But anyway, isn't that wild? Like who in a billion years would have thought? But I'm just, I'm truly crazy about the guy. I really am. And it blows my mind because like I said, I never ever thought I would be in this position. I never thought I'd be dating anybody. I never, like anytime soon. I had tried to like other people. I would try to like develop feelings for other people and be like, make myself like them and, and be like, well, they would treat you good or, you know, whatever. But I, this so, with him, it is completely effortless. It's like, I didn't even want to be, he just changed my mind about everything. You know what I mean? He just, he came in and I was like, well, all right then, that's that. And I can't even explain to you, like, I feel, the way that I could best explain it is like, me and Caitlin have only been friends, you know, James, we always film together. Um, we've literally been friends for a year this month. This November will have made a year. But we feel like we've been friends for a billion years. And um, that's kind of how I feel with Chase. Is like he just, like we've known each other forever. Yeah, but like it feels like we've been dating for a really long, long time. Like way longer than what we have been dating and hanging out. And it's just, it's so easy and effortless and it just... Is so fun and like he just makes life fun and he's such a good person and he's so helpful and my family loves him and he's everything that I love like he just is my he's my top he is like he's athletic obviously he's a professional baseball player you know what I mean like he's extremely athletic and he's tall and he's so handsome and he's just like all these things but he's also patient and kind and caring and so thoughtful and such such a big helper um which means the world to me. And like, I don't know, I'm just down bad. So there's that. I'll shut up about my boyfriend now. I just figured I would give you guys like a little life update, little chitty, chitty, little chatty update. Um, that my skin looks phenomenal. It looks stupidly good. Hooray. I'm gonna go in with the bronzing shade here and maybe a little bit there. Um, and just like top all that off. I'm using this really, really light fluffy brush too this hourglass palette I'm telling you is so pretty I'm gonna use on my eyes too and then I'm gonna take these pink shades which are beautiful beautiful pink shades and go up with those okay I'm gonna take the um Dior powder in my crease and just make like a transition shade actually no I'm lying before I do that I'm gonna use this elf um flawless brightening concealer and go under my brow and carve it out. Because I swear to you, I feel like every time Brielle does my makeup, it gets me like excited to do my own makeup again. Because I'm like, okay, she killed that. And one of the main things that she does is carve underneath my brow. And that's something I never do. And so I'm always like, I need to do that. I need to, I need to be a brow carver, you know? Also, I just love the Rare Beauty br brushes. They're so good, genuinely. I'm also extremely excited for the uh, um, my Sephora order to come in. I feel like there was so much good stuff at this one. Sometimes I feel like during the spring, like nobody's really coming out with that much stuff. Like during the spring sale, it's just like kind of a restock. But whenever it's the winter time, that is, or I guess like fall, winter. That's my favorite because they're coming out with the holiday gift sets and like all the things. So that's my fave. Okay, now that I've carved out my brows, kinda, not really. I just lightened up the area. I'm gonna go in with that Dior powder and use that as my transition shade. It's also gonna stick a little bit better. I cannot explain to you how good that Hourglass, not Hourglass, that House Lives foundation looks and how good of a color match it was on my skin. Also, another thing that I wanted to discuss is like, I'm just so happy about the season of life. I really, really, really struggled at the beginning of the year um, and on like for a hot minute. I mean, like I've never cried 
more in my entire life like combined than I've cried this year of just pure sadness and um like heartbreak you know and I just like went through I went through it I went through it I went through the ringer um and it was rough but to be where I'm at right now and to be where I am in my career and like know what's coming next I'm so grateful and thankful for that and it's just a blessing and a dream come true one of my biggest um like, I can't even tell you guys because it's a lot of stuff that's, like, behind the scenes, obviously. But one of the biggest things that I've ever, like, wanted to do in my life, both of them are happening. Actually, three things are happening right now. And it's just, it's so humbling because it's, like, I'm so grateful and thankful to be in this position, to have the job that I do and to have the opportunities that I do. And to just get to experience all this. Like, it's just, I'm really proud of myself. I'm really grateful. I'm very blessed and thankful. And just... I don't know, like, I'm just so thankful. I remember, like, I prayed for all these things to happen. And now that they're happening, it's just a surreal kind of kind of feeling, you know? It's like, wow, <laughs> that's nice. I don't know. I just love it. And it's, it's great. It really is. So, thank you guys for, like, following along and for, even if you're just, like, watching this video with, you're supporting me by watching the video, you know? And it's just noise. But it's been a huge blessing, especially, like, the past few days. And, like, the stuff that's coming up and the collaborations that are going on in my life. And, um, like I said, just the opportunities that have been presented to me. is It's just all a dream come true. And I feel like I've worked my butt off to be able to be here. But, nevertheless, it doesn't make it any more, um, it doesn't make me any, like, less grateful. You know what I mean? Like, even though I worked for it it's still a huge blessing and it's still a big, a really big deal to me. So I'm just really grateful and really thankful, and really blessed. Okay. I want to do liner on my top waterline. Okay. I brought you closer. I'm going to bring, um, I'm going to do liner on my top waterline. I think, um, I want to do something like, I'm probably going to use one of these, the hourglass voyeur, um, liners. I'll probably use this one. This is in the shade Chestnut, I think. Cave. This is in the shade Cave. Which is just like a deep brown shade. So, I'm going to put it in my water line. And then I'm going to do my upper lash line too. And smudge it the heck out. I'm going to take this. This is from Refer. It's the Refer 23. And that's how I'm just going to smudge it out. I'm going to take this plum shade down here. It's like a plumish, mauvey red shade. And I'm going to run it along my lower lash line. And the only reason I'm doing really any of this is to, like, just enhance my eye. And enhance my eye color and make it my eye, like, stand out and look bigger and brighter rather than, like, smaller, if that makes sense. And then whenever I go in with, like, mascara, everything will be, like, pulled together. And I'll pop on some falsies and it should look, should look gas. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to curl my lashes, put on my Ilia mascara, the Ilia fullest volume. You guys already know I did indeed buy a restock or buy a backup of this. And then I'll show you. Okay, so I went ahead and did my, uh, did my voice just come back? Hello? Well, gosh dang. Okay, anyways. Um... I went ahead and did my mascara, and I did my little false lashes, which I talked about in my other video. It's the Kiss Looks So Natural um, lashes, and I just put those, put two of them on the, like, middle part of my eye to give it more of, like, a wide-eyed look. Um, I still feel like my eyes could use more. Like, I still think they could handle a little more zhuzh, a little more shazam. You know what I mean? So, I'm going to go back in with that plum shade and put more on my lower waterline just to just to do that. And then I'm also going to not really bake, but put on some powder. Um, this is a dirty mirror. I'm going to put on some powder just so it sets and stays. Because, like I said, I will indeed be wearing this makeup for a long time. i got to film, and then I have, like, other things to do. And, like, I just want to look cute you know and put together so 
that's that. And then the powder that I'm going to use, as per usual, is the Givenchy powder, the Prism Libre powder. And this is in the shade 3 Violet Rose. Let me actually... Ooh. Powder's so hard to deal with, honestly. I'm going to use my little powder puff that I always use. The little Amazon ones. Um, Brielle gave me these. What I like to do is get the powder. Like, I'll get some of the powder like this. Okay? And then press it into my hand so it gets, like, warm. And it's not just, like, stark powder going on my face. So, I'll get that. Press it in my hand. Look up. And then go through and press it. And you guys know I'm not a powder girl. Like, I do not enjoy powder. But there's just something about this that makes my skin look absolutely poreless. Genuinely. It is a good, good powder. I like to put it on my nose and then in my laugh lines because evidently I'm getting those. Which is extremely rude. And I'm not grateful for them. What's the reason? Oh, hooray. So, that's that. Then I'm going to go back in with my Charlotte Tilbury powder as well. And I'm going to use this. That is not my Charlotte Tilbury powder. I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury powder on um, the rest of my face. And I'm going to use that same brush I used for the uh, hourglass. But I'm just going to set everything. I'm telling you guys, I've been going a little bit more glam. But the thing is, is like it just, it looks flawless. Like it looks like I have my makeup done. Sort of obs. Which is what we want. And then I'm going to hit it with the powder again. The bronzing powder. And the blush. So I'm gonna hit the blush on like the top of my cheeks. And my nose. Under my eyes too. Love that, love that, love that. Then, for lips, I'm going to take this off. Add on the little Recovery Glow Lip Oil. And I think I'm going to line them with Wherever Walnut. Is this Wherever Walnut? Anywhere Caffeine. Sorry. Anywhere Caffeine. And if I can get this open. Brielle used this Iconic Nude and Endless Cacao. Last time. Okay, there's that. And then I'm going to go in with the Tom Ford, what is this shade? Sand Sable? Sable Smoke. 14 Sable Smoke by Tom Ford. And pop that in the middle. That looks really good. Then I'm going to go in with the shade. I know, I know. Oh, I dropped my foot. My foot's cramping. Ow. <laughs> and then I'm going to go with the shade Cozy from Fawn Beauty. This is a nude lip oil. It's stunning. And it's also toasted marshmallow scented, so that's gas. I love Cozy. Oh, wow, that looks good. I still feel like I'm missing something, though. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like my face looks a little... My stomach's rolling. i tell you what I'm going to do. I wasn't going to. I wasn't going to. I was trying to avoid it at all costs, but we have no choice. I'm going to use the Rare Beauty Blush in the shade Happy. If I can find it. Be honest, where are you at? Here it is. I'm going to use the Rare Beauty Blush in the shade Happy and put it on because I just feel like it, I don't know, I just feel like it completes every look. Like I just need a little bit of Happy to make my makeup look good. And then e.l.f. brush always. And I go like right under my eyes and up. And I don't know, like I just feel like it just looks really good. 
there's so many versions of me. There's like the high glam, there's like the not so glam, very casual, and then there's like the no makeup me. And I just, I vibe with all of them, you know? Like, oh my freaking gosh, my makeup looks good. Okay, guys, that's it. I promise. Um, this is the most random, random video. I just kind of wanted to record a video and, and get it up for you guys. And I just, that's that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. All the products will be listed down below. Thanks for listening to me rant and ramble about literally absolutely nothing and then just talk about makeup. I'm so excited to film the Sephora videos. I'm so excited for like literally all of this. If there's a specific good video that, or something that you want to see from me, please let a girl know. Um... Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe before you leave. And I hope you have a fabulous day.